Hi guys, good evening, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. This, get the other stuff out of the way first, this is episode 89 of series 24, which makes it episode 710 overall. And boy, oh boy, that's the obvious stuff out of the way, the future's bright, the future's orange. <laughs> okay, uh, it's time to get the show on the road. Not literally, of course, but you know. Um, because just the other day, I was in heaven. I was crossing the road from just outside the Meridian Centre to the park when this strange looking man approaches me from the entrance of the Meridian Centre. A man I've never seen before, let alone heard of. He was completely shadowed, or so I thought. When he took his hood down, he had a red face, and he had a a lightsaber with two blades. It's then that I realised who this was. This was Darth Maul, and not knowing a single thing about, well, I know about Jedi combat, but not having experienced it before, I just walked on as if I hadn't seen him. But he wasn't there for me. He was looking for some Jedi Masters to fight. And he did not find them, so he moved to a different area. Of course, this story is made up. And now, guys, what isn't made up is you're about to see this animation. Shelby, you were sent here because your strange behavior is really worrying the teachers. What strange behavior? Apparently, you've been freaking out over the tiniest thing in every class, speaking in strange tongue, slouching over your work, getting spacey, inadvertently using foul language, blinking constantly, drifting off during class activities, having accidents in your knickers and allowing yourself to be distracted. Is there something stressful on your mind at the moment? I need to know so I can help you. You're my granddaughter, and I love you. To be honest, I have been majorly stressed lately. I've been acting this way at home as well. Mum has to put nappies on me, in order to calm me down. Nappies? I think we need to put them on you in school as well. We can't have you being stressed here. The nurse will change you when you need it. Hadn't you better run that by Mum first? Run what by me first? It has come to my attention that you put nappies on Shelby at home, as a way of easing her stress level. I do indeed. She's had a stressful time here today, and I think she needs them on in school as well. The nurse will change her nappy when she needs it. I'm more than inclined to agree with you there, Mum. She can wear a nappy to school from now on, every morning. She'll need changing before and after each class. You can take her home now. She can take the rest of the day off. Come on Shelby. I can feel your stress starting to rise. We need to get you home and put a nappy on you before it's too late. Okay guys, that was the first of the animations I wanted to show you today. And I'm sorry about its plot. Now... It's time for something to happen. And that something is this. Da, 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 da. 
da 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 Oh yes. Ooh e e a a ting tang. Nothing, 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 nothing. Because I'm not gonna tarnish it again. Here's Texas Branding for you guys. Join me back here after he's gone. Howdy, partners. Texas Brandon and I'm just here by invitation. Look at up now as the manager of the Funlander Company. I'm taking my annual leave. And leaving my assistant manager in charge. But you don't know who that is yet, do you? Oh, nope. I've kept that on the wraps until it's his turn to, rip, uh, to run the company. For his or her turn. Depending on who it is. I know. But y'all don't. Anyway, y'all, can't stay long because I got something to do. So I'll see y'all later, hopefully, next time, James. If they're all yours, y'all. Thanks, Texas, and we hope to see you here again next time as well. And now, guys, it's time for the last animation I want to show you. Take a look at this. I love being naughty. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. I've stolen items and hidden. Is that my naughty daughter up to her tricks again? Tricks? I didn't say that. You just admitted to stealing items and hiding them. That's very naughty. Where have you hidden them? I haven't stolen nothing, and hidden it nowhere. Isabel Harriet Dreyfus. How dare you steal household items, hide them and lie about it. That's very naughty. I'm going to have to ground you. What? You heard me, Missy. You're grounded. You are being really naughty today. Get to your room. Right now. You badly behaved little girl. No way lady. Excuse me, I'm your mother. You do not speak to me like that. How dare you even think about it. You naughty girl, grounded is what you are, until I say so. Off to bed. Okay guys, that's it. For this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. As much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Do join me again next time, which will be sometime tomorrow for sure. Until then, have a good evening. And have a good tomorrow, however long it takes me to do it. Okay. Bye now.